welcome back again students in continuation with the series of online classes i am again here to bring with you the rest of the content of chapter 1 now as we have studied the various properties of matter and the various chemical properties of the particles of matter now today we are going to learn about the different states of matter as you have already studied in your lower classes that there exists three states of matter that is number 1 is solids other is liquids and the third is gas now dealing up over here i will talk about the properties of solid liquid and gases and along with that i will also give you a tabulated differentiation among these three states of matter the very first different between the solid liquid and the gases is that solids they have got definite shape size and volume whereas liquids they do not have a definite shape but they take up the shape of the vessel in which they are kept but they have a definite volume and when we are talking about the gases gases neither do have a definite shape nor they do have a definite volume gases neither have a definite shape nor a definite volume now talking about the second property of solids the particles of solids are tightly packed with each other whereas the particles of liquid they are uh, slightly loose loosely packed with each other or we can say they are less tightly packed with each other and when we are talking about the gases the particles of the gases they are loosely packed with each other now talking about the third property of solid liquid and the gases
third property solids shows rigidity whereas liquids are not rigid and gases are also not rigid now when we are talking about the fourth property that is solids since and since they are solid structures their particles are very tightly packed with each other they show rigidity therefore we can say that they cannot be compressed solids cannot be compressed whereas liquids can be compressed and gases they can also be compressed talking about the fifth property that is strong forces of attraction occurs between the particles of solids strong forces of attraction occurs between particles of solid less force of attraction occurs between the particles of liquids less force of attraction occurs between the particles of liquids and very less or least or least force of attraction occurs between particles of gases now next property is since and since very strong forces of attraction occurs therefore they cannot be compressed as we all have seen but they cannot show since and since the particles are tightly held held together due to the strong forces of attraction therefore solids do not exhibit the property of fluidity do not possess fluidity whereas liquids they exhibit fluidity and gases they also exhibit fluidity so these are the main points on the basis of which we can differentiate between the three states of matter that is the solids the liquids and the gases now representing them diagrammatically or representing the difference between them diagrammatically that the particles of solids occur in this state that is very strong force of attraction are present between the particles of matter due to which they have got less spaces among them and 
in liquids the particles are having less force of attraction therefore they are having certain amount of spaces between them and when we are talking about the gases since and since they are having least force of force of attraction between them therefore they are randomly moving up away far from each other due to which they are having large spaces between them again i can repeat since and since the proper uh, the particles of the matter they are having strong forces of attraction between them therefore they are very tightly packed with each other and hence they have got very less amount of the space between them due to which their other properties like they are having a rigid structure they are having a definite shape size and volume they are having uh, what to say rigidity they cannot be compressed